A new knee is supposed to get you back on your feet, but artificial knees often do not fit as they should. And our own Dr. Bruce Hensel is going to show us now how a Northridge hospital is fixing that problem with state-of-the-art technology. Police officer Sandra Liddy would rather be walking a beat than a hospital hallway, but she injured both knees during a training accident. I'm in constant pain, constant pain, so I cannot put a uniform on right now. Sandra had one knee operated on, and while she waits for the second surgery, she's stuck behind a desk, unable to patrol the city streets. Because I'm in pain, because of the medication, I can't get back into a black and white. That could happen soon, if this second surgery done by Dr. Jamie Hernandez works. But because of the patient's young age and her physically demanding work, the procedure needs to be near perfect. The reality of knee replacement is that about 15 and maybe 20 percent of patients just aren't that happy after a knee replacement. The new knee may feel too loose or stiff or even painful if the pieces are not placed correctly. So Hernandez uses this new technology to create a GPS-style map of the knee. The more accurate the parts are implanted, the better they work and the longer they last. To improve accuracy, the digital navigation system sends infrared signals from the knee to a computer and creates this map of the area. The device then gives extremely accurate real-time measurements so the doctor can be sure everything is perfectly aligned. Before he finishes the procedure, he uses a second device to check the pressure of the knee and ensure an ideal fit. If all goes well, Sandra could be back on patrol in just a few weeks. It needs to work. It has to work because I have to go back to normal life. It's been a week since Sandra's surgery, so we checked with her doctor, and he says she's doing great. She needs physical therapy still, but she should be back on patrol soon.